Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show a sample using PNPJS to query the list item and display it in the format of a card, which you can see at the background of this PowerPoint. In this scenario, I would take an example of getting the item from the list, which is the animal taxonomy. For example, I have a list called organisms. In this list, I have a list of all the uh, animals with scientific name. I would use the PNPJS to query those and display in the format which you see at the background of this PowerPoint. Basically at the end of this sample, you would see the demo, the one which you would like this. I'm using the modern SharePoint page. You can see uh, how it would be displayed when I add the final product of the SPFX queried from the PNPJS on the page. I would be using all these command to run the SPFX and finally the PNPJS to uh, get the details from the SharePoint. These commands, you can even follow my previous video and find out how to enable the jQuery bootstrap and the font awesome. And along with that, I'm going to use just add on of PNPJS. So let's start creating. Okay. So now, as usual, I'm going to run the yo command with all the parameters with, with, with the options here. SPFX PNPJS is my solution name and SPFX PNPJS WP is my web part name. Basically, this web part would connect it to the organism list and get the detail. Let me run the command. It would start to run. Meanwhile, when it is creating the projects, I would explain you what are the items which are there in the SharePoint. So basically, anyone who knows about the animal taxonomy, uh, they would understand how the taxonomy structure is. It's just nothing but categorizing the animals into uh, various um, in an hierarchical taxonomy. If you see here, I have already created the term store item. Uh, any organism in the world belongs to uh, any of the domain, which we call it as the first one is the domain, which we call it as eukaryotes, bacteria or archaea. Uh, after the domain is the kingdom. We all belong to the animalia kingdom. Under the animalia kingdom, you would see cardata. So under the cardata, we belong to the vertebra. So even under the vertebra, we belong to the mammalia. So any human being, uh, human being as a species, uh, they belong to the uh, mammalia class. Under the class, you would have uh, family, order, genus, species. So those are will be the list items or the columns within the list. So this is the taxonomy structure which I have created for the animal taxonomy. And I have one more list. The list is the one which has all the list of organisms. So right now I have only few organisms to just to show in the PNPJS. I have not added much. Uh, if you see here, this is a list. Uh, let me go to the list settings. This is the list which, which has all these column, uh, name of an organism and the picture, uh, the scientific name, which is the genus and the species, organism description, and order family genus species which are the hierarchical of an animal any uh, taxonomy structure and there is one taxonomy column which is the managed metadata i would tag for any animal which i add in right now there are only seven just for the sample i'm testing in so probably maybe later i would keep on adding more so the pnpjs will query this item and display it in a card format which is the bootstrap 4 uh, card deck which I would later use it to show the animal. And these, this is a simple list which you would use in. Let me go back to the, yes. So this has been completed. Let me open it in the Visual Studio Code. Okay, so I've opened the code in the Visual Studio Code. Let me, it has several of this um, SPFX. OK, 
Okay. You can see the full source here. That part. Let me zoom the control for you. Zoom in. Yes. It should be visible now. This is the default project structure which is created. Let me use this project and add, run those commands sequentially which I have shown previously. I am going to run the commands one by one. npm install jQuery first. After running the jQuery, jQuery types. Let's wait for the command to complete. Okay, the jQuery command is completed. Now I'm going to run the jQuery types. Now the jQuery type is completed. I'm going to run the bootstrap 4. So now the bootstrap type. After the bootstrap type, I'm going to run now the font awesome. Font awesome is optional. You don't really need it. But in my case, I'm going to use some of the icons. So I'll run the font awesome to use the logo and the icons within the animal. Font awesome is done. And I'm going to run the URL loader. The URL loader is again for Fontasm. If you are not installing the Fontasm, you can ignore this. And finally, the PNPJS. This is the command you should run. There has been several changes in the PNP command or the PNPJS. Previously, we used to use SP web uh, to include the PNP, but now the things are changing. Uh, later, I would discuss you what are the changes as well as how do you um, invoke the PNPJS. So now the PNPJS is running. And meanwhile, when the PNPJS is running, I'm going to add uh, some of the changes for the font awesome. And again, I'm telling you this is optional. The font, font awesome changes is optional. And if you are not using it, you can just ignore this step. Let me copy the existing one, which I already had. Um, I'm just finding the right commands for it so that I can run. Okay. So this is for Fontasm to work. Basically, just try to render it. Okay. So now the PNPJS is also completed. All the required package which we have is already done. So now we are good to go. And also, if you note it down, you don't need, really need to repeat all these steps for the next project. If you feel that uh, all these are mandatory commands which you want to run, you can always use the package.json uh, file. So this package.json would have all the installation which you have. You can just copy paste and just run npm install. That would install all the package which is under this dependency. That is just the tips you can follow. So now I added the gulp file uh, changes for the Fontasm. So hopefully the Fontasm should work now. Let's start adding the PNPJS for the project to make it to work. So PNPJS project to make it to work, you need to include uh, the main PNPJS command, which is import command, import the SP from the PNPJS. And I'm going to import for jQuery bootstrap and other options you should have already installed and import the bootstrap and jQuery. So those are the preliminary steps you should do. The previous video I have explained in detail. In this video, I just uh, run through whatever I have done that. That's it. So I just copy paste whatever the last video which I have already. I have copied these steps and also I should go back to config file and add those dependencies of external dependencies. 
let me go to config json external dependencies i need to add the external dependencies of jquery and the bootstrap and this is mandatory for bootstrap and jquery to work i've added the mandatory steps as well let me format them okay it is formatted properly all the preliminary steps have been completed so hopefully uh, the jquery and the bootstrap is already done and the phantasm is also uh, linked up let me start some programming i'm going to uh, have my own html so i'll remove completely the sample which it already has that's it and same render method since we are going to use the jquery you need to add the jquery uh, options which is the document load key step for the jquery which is also which is added okay document load is added and for the pnp js we need to initialize the pnp with the uh, context which the web part is running in or the site which has which has the context so for that you need to include uh, on init method inside the on init method you need to initialize your uh, pnp js so for that you should use just this step that's it it's a uh, predefined step which you can just copy paste from for each project which you are using for pnp js which is nothing but whatever the import method you have used for sp just set up the uh, local context this dot context will get the local context of the sharepoint site and set it into your pnp js that's it so once it is set you uh, send back your on init to the to the method that's it so now all the preliminary steps for getting the uh, data plus jquery bootstrap is done so now we should start programming for getting the data so if you see if, let me go back to the code here so if you see here this list consists of several columns which is the name description genus species taxonomy so each column some of the columns are the same and some columns are the different type uh, name column is a string column which is a single line of text genus species is again single line of text but if you look at the column for um, the organism picture picture is a picture column which has uh, which is a combination of a description plus the url and taxonomy column is again a metadata column so we would use the pnp js to get details of all these column and display it in a proper way so for that let me go back to the code so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create another class or a file a typescript file that file will handle creation of a html and attach it to your uh, original code so let me create one file i would name the file as maybe um animals html dot ds html dot ds animals html yes so animals html dot ds is nothing but it would emit a complete uh, structure of the html to the main uh, typescript class that's it and here i'm going to use the pnp js so i should have my pnp js first which is the import method of the pnp js and i'm going to so let me explain you this before so basically when you call any of the pnp js internally it call to the rest api the rest api will return you the json format the json format is nothing but it has a structured data from this list item as a json file and each one would, each column would be kind of uh, type within the typescript so for that i am going to use a structure which is the interface which i would expose some interface structure similar to the list item list columns so that it's easy for the pnp js to uh, get the detail i would name the 
interface as i organism that both should be the caps i organism so i organism is the main interface which is returned from the pnb js which is eventually the json converted into a type format which has several properties which is equivalent to your list columns so basically it is a list column let me use that and i'm going to declare two more interfaces which is a subtype of the main i organisms uh, if you see here i organism is the main class or the structure which completely replicates your list columns and scientific name is the string taxonomy is again i taxonomy which is again another class of the interface that has uh, several attributes which are the label term guid and the wss id so that is a structure which the json file would return for pnp js and i picture is again organism picture is again i picture i picture is again another class with the description and the url that is the structure of the json which it would return so once it is exposing those classes let me start declaring another class which is a static method or let me declare organism class so i am going to call an class which is the organism class inside this class i would add a method to query the list item using the pnp js so for that and this class would return a variable which is public static the same variable which which is similar to let me call it as a same template html which is a string this is the complete html dynamic html form will be returned to the main typescript class as a web part so what i do is i have my predefined structure which i already defined uh, it's a pretty much uh, bootstrap structure anyone who is working on the bootstrap they can easily understand uh, the html structure it's not that complex i always use a simple structure which comes with the bootstrap that's a power of the bootstrap which you can use if you see uh, let me format this okay uh, this is a simple html uh, structure which it would return to the uh, main web part class what it does is it has a container class which is uh, main container and i am declaring a row inside a row there is a card animal card um jquery item once the pnp uh, js queries the list item it runs into loop forms a html and the jquery will attach the full html of animals into this div, div tag and that's why it is named as id animal card so this id animal card is the one which jquery will use and there is one navigational structure at the top just for uh, just to add some logo plus uh, your search text if you want to see maybe i'll uh, what i do is i will just show um, the html structure of it the html structure would be uh, like this this is the one so i have a nav uh, item which is a bootstrap and on the right there is a search and the search button so this is the view which uh, it would come out from this nav and after that it would open uh, what are the animals which are at the bottom that's it and this is the class which it would appear hopefully it works uh, what i am going to do is i am just uh, trying to call this method within the main uh, web web part so for that what you should do is that you should declare your main uh, within your main class you should declare the existing uh, class which is animal class import it and then execute or call the method so what i am going to do is i'll maybe here okay i'm naming it as org html so the org html 
it should return it to here so the arc html dot template html that's it and yes so later i would call any method declared or the PNP JS query will be called within the document ready method. So to test whether it shows, uh, let me build it. Oh, let me run the build command, which is the gulp. Okay, let me not build it. Let me use gulp serve, gulp serve hyphen hyphen, no browser. Okay, so let me execute this. So the gulp serve command is running. Let me go back to, okay. Uh, when I refresh, it should show. Okay, it is there. Mm, PNPJS WS, PNPJS hyphen WP. SPFX PNPJS. Okay, this is on. Okay, so now it is working. It's a hash, uh, static HTML which I added now. Just the nav plus the font awesome. This comes from the font awesome, uh, the pa. It is fa hyphen pa which comes here. That's why I'm using the font awesome. If you don't use the font awesome, it's fine. Uh, you can use any of your logo or you can just ignore it. I'm just demonstrating the font awesome, uh, the use of the font awesome in places. Okay, so now the code is working. What I'm going to do now is that, uh, let me go back to the code. Where is the code? Let me go back to the code. And what I'm going to do is that, I'm going to go back to the HTML and I'm going to call, I'm going to declare some methods to call the uh, PNPJS. So the first method I'm going to declare is the get list item, which is, for getting the item from the list. So this is the list which I'm going to use. The list name is the organisms list. And this is just to console dot to just test. Items dot select star, which is you can even specify whatever the column you want to have. For me now I'm just going to call get all the columns uh, for that item which I'm querying. And get then the response is sent back. So make sure that it is a promise uh, return. And if you note down this promise return, it is a array of I organism. So what does this function does is, it converts all your JSON from the REST API into a type, which is I organism array. So basically, so that becomes much easier for you to query or get the item from the list. Second, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to declare one public method, which is the interface for your uh, web part, which is called get all organisms. This get all organisms is the method. What it does is, let me call, uh, get all organism is the method. It gets all your list item and then renders it in the way you wanted it. I am copying it. There are too much code here. Let me explain so that it becomes much clear. Let me not save it because it, it would start to compile. Or let me stop this. Okay. Yes. yes. And let me say this one and this one. Okay. Let me explain the code. Okay. So now I added two more methods, which is the render organism list and the get all organism. The get all organism is the method which is exposed or which I'm going to call from the main uh, web part. When you call the get all organisms, it is going to call the get list item, which is this item. And whatever the item which is returning, I am just returning it to the bottom method, which is the random organism, uh, render organism list method. Basically, it calls the get list item and pass it to as an array. So once you get the array, you then do whatever the options or whatever the uh, operations you want to do. So basically what I'm doing is I declared one uh, 
template for me this is the template for each animal so each animal will be displayed in this template if you see here i'm just using the string replace there are several ways you can do it my simplest way is this if you have a complex uh, project with so many of the coding then you can follow some different approach uh, react is one of the approach which you can follow that makes it easier for you to structure the product structure your html but this one is very simple so i'm just using the jquery plus uh, string replace uh, so i have a predefined structure within the template i have predefined keywords which is the picture name and then the scientific name and the family name and the order so basically what it does is it just replaces the uh, specific keyword that's it this is a structure for a single animal and the item which it coming here i am running through in a loop for loop for loop so the for loop will get all the item and it will form the html and it will return so the return html what i do i just use the jquery animals card and just append it inside here animal card here that's it so um, i make use of the jquery replace a string just append it that's it it's very straightforward and simple let me check whether this one works i'm going to run the gulp serve command again gulp serve hyphen hyphen no browser okay gulp serve command is running now so hopefully it should display let me just refresh if it throws some error then probably i will have to come on come on what is the issue let me use f12 and then find out what is the issue i am trying to refresh as well okay there is nothing found let me debug this issue so to debug let me bring in the debug window looks like the method it is not calling the pnp js okay yes yes i understood i found out the issue okay so okay the issue is that we didn't call the main method inside the web part let me stop this okay i don't need to stop even so we need to call the method inside this web part see here in the jquery load we should call that or html dot get all organisms yes okay we need to call this method so only then your get data get list and the render method will be called so i'm just saving it it will rebuild let me wait for the rebuild process it is loading the web pack hopefully everything goes through fine uh yes so let me refresh please work hopefully yes okay so finally if you see here the data it comes from the list and it is shown as a card format in the be, uh, bootstrap if you want to see here you can go to the bootstrap card and i'm using this format which is the uh, column format card columns and use the card column format and use this uh, card format so that's how the item is displayed here okay to make sure this item comes from there it is from the list item so that's how about the uh, pnp js and you can use pnp js to query add item uh, those kind of a stuff within the pnp js this is just a simple sample which i am showing how to make use of the pnp js hopefully this video is helpful to you and coming up much videos as well on the pnp js all the source code i will upload it to the github later you go to the description of this video you can find the url to uh, get all the source code which i discuss in this video thank you so much for uh, watching the video